Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? <laughs> you should... come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <laughs> Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Okay, I'm up. I'm up. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Thing you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbor. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? 
left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys got to stick together. Am I right? Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. But there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. Glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> no! No! You, you need to let me go! I have to warn the president! You're trying to kill me! You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. 
No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, Dumbass! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leela. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! <laughs> yes! I cracked it! <laughs> For this. Wondering about it's not much yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. about uh, John Doe. John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. Oh, 
However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? What's that? Not polite at all. At all. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one. This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double cross and two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. Supporting his campaign. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader. This Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Harvey is going way too far. You think so? I can't wait to see where he goes next. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicki and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. Dragged you off of him, that cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, Parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. 
And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. Sure, one favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Ah! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> no security! <laughs> to hear your voice. I've been trying to contact you, but they wouldn't let me through. They told me you'd lost your mind. Contact my lawyers. You'll need to post bail, but that shouldn't be a problem. You have got to get me out of here. I'll see what I can do. I have to go. Oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you, find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna pull the clutch. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah. Bruce, thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. You may have the money to make this go away, but this is going to hurt you in the long run. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Let's go, Alfred. I will. See you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! 
What's that about? 